Hey, this is Jason Creel and this is Lawn Care Life. I wanted to share with you today some goals uh, for 2018 for your lawn care business. Now I'm gonna share with you some of my goals and I'm gonna talk to you about some, the ways to go about thinking about goals and maybe help you come up with some goals for your lawn care business. Hey, today's video is sponsored by Jobber. If you guys uh, wanna go over and check out Jobber software, I'll put a link in the description and you can also check out Jobber Academy. I know they've uh, featured a couple of my videos um, that are not on YouTube and they're, and they're planning to do so with more. So I've been a contributor over there. They've got a lot of uh, great articles and that sort of thing. So, so let's talk about your goals. You know, I, and I, I'll just be honest, I've not never been a, a big goal setter. Um, that when I do set them, I usually don't meet them and you know, just personal goals and that sort of thing. But uh, I do think there's a purpose for it in your business. And I want to talk to you briefly about what I'm thinking about for 2018. Uh, my short term goal uh, being for today is to try to stay warm and get some yards done because it's cold out here uh, and I'm behind schedule and trying to get done before Christmas. So, but long term, uh, I say long term, let's just say for the next year, I've got, let me first tell you, just give you an update on my business. I'm at, um, I, I don't know, I'd say I've got maybe 340 customers or so. Uh, my goal for 2018 is to get to 500 customers, okay? So that, you know, and that's, that may, for some of you out there cutting grass, that may sound like a ton. I'm, I'm just saying in, in weed control and fertilization, you need a lot of customers. Um, so one of the things that's exciting about that for me is when is that this next year, I am looking to hire somebody part time. And so being able to make that jump from one truck to two trucks is exciting because that's what I'm ultimately trying to become uh, as a business that has multiple trucks running and you gotta go from one to two before you can go to two to three to three to four. So uh, I'm excited. I've actually been truck shopping this week. I'll give you more updates on that later as I, I've been thinking about it way too much and hoping to make a decision by the end of the day. All right, but what about for you guys, your goals, um, you know, and, and that's not very specific on mine. I'm just, just saying I'm trying to get to 500 uh, customers. I've also actually got some goals for my YouTube channel um, as far as number of subscribers and some other things. I mean, I, I, I think realistically my channel could probably go to 40,000 subscribers in a year because I'm wanting to put some more time, hopefully do better videos, better quality videos. I've made some investments, a better camera, better computer, better editing software, you know, so I'm trying to improve things on my end. So hopefully that'll make the videos more enjoyable to watch. All right, so for, for other guys, for other people in the lawn care business, what can we do as far as goals? Let me just say this, I, you know, and I'm gonna sort of contradict what I said for my goal was to get to 500 customers. I had somebody the other day said, you know, what's a reasonable amount of customers to get in your first year in the lawn business? It, it's, it's kind of a tricky question to be honest with you because it, it's, it's hard to predict based on the area you're in and, and what kind of marketing you're doing and, and that sort of thing. You know, so when I started this business, um, three years ago, it, and if you're new to the channel, it's not my first business, it's my third business. But when I moved here and started um, this business, I got roughly 100 customers in the first year. I thought that was really good. I know others that get more than that, um, but I think for a mowing operation, you know, for you, the, the goal might be 30 customers in, in your first full year. And that may be enough to make it and get you off the ground. It may be 50 customers, you know. I think 50 would be great for a mowing operation to be able to get 50 in the first year is, is really an accomplishment in my opinion. But I would encourage you not to think about your numbers like that, even though that's what I told you, I'm trying to hit a, a certain goal in the number of customers. Um, you can do that, but I think maybe a better way to look at your goals um, is uh, a couple ways. One, financial goals, okay? So you say, I want to generate this much revenue and more importantly, profit in this year. So that, that to me is, is at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is not get more customers necessarily, and we wanna actually make more money. Um, so, and customers, of course, are a big part of that, but it, you know what I'm saying, the money, um, you may be gaining a lot of customers and not necessarily make it a lot more profit. Uh, I think another way to go about this, because we say, well, I wanna get 50 customers or 100 customers or 20 customers or whatever this year, perhaps a better way to approach that is to, to set goals on your actual marketing. So what I mean is, let's just say that you order 5,000 nicely designed postcards or door hangers or whatever. 
uh, and I can't emphasize nicely designed enough. You know, a, a cheap flyers just do not produce as well, in my opinion. Uh, but maybe your goal should be not I'm going to get 50 customers, but I'm going to put out 5,000 postcards this year. Whether you do it or you hire somebody to do it or however you do it, um, because that's a uh, that's a tangible goal that you know you can do. Um, whether whether that translates to 50 customers or not, I don't know. But you know, you say 50 customers is it can be somewhat vague. You need to almost say I'm going to get 50 customers, and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put out. 5,000 postcards. I'm going to make sure that I put something on the door or mail some sort of direct mail to all the houses surrounding my current customers, whether that means the three next door neighbors, you know, on either side of the house and across the street, or the five nearest houses, or the eight nearest houses, or the ten nearest houses, however you want to do it. Um, but I'm going to hit the neighbors of all my customers. Uh, maybe you have a goal on that I'm going to try to initiate relationships with other people who I believe can send me business. So for me, that's a key goal. Uh, when I am doing weed control and fertilization, I want to make contact with a lot of mowing guys in my area just to let them know uh, about the services I offer and if they, you know, I would sure appreciate their referrals to come to me. And at the same time, many times I'm able to refer them business as well or to compensate them in some way. So that's a goal that I'm going to make, you know, this many phone calls to people who could send me business or I'm going to try to, you know, establish a relationship or I'm going to take um, five of these guys to lunch and try to get to know them because again a lot of business is built on relationships so um, so there's a lot of things you can do uh, like tangible goals like that as opposed to just saying I'm gonna get 50 customers this year um, another example is I'm gonna regularly post on Facebook or I'm going to start a website this year or to I'm gonna see if I can get 10 positive for reviews uh, about my business on the internet whether that be facebook or google or yelp or, or wherever you want to get these are some in my opinion more practical goals that are easy to to write down and at the end of the year you can look at a piece of paper and know hey did i or did i not put out 5,000 postcards or 2,000 or 1,000 whatever you want to do uh, did i or did i not post once a month uh, on these facebook groups or once a week on my my facebook page for my business um, you know, so that to me is easier to track. And you know what? At the end of the day, those are the goals that actually will lead you to getting 50 customers or 20 customers or 100 customers. You know, so, um, you know, it, it, so anyway, I, I'm just trying to make this as tangible and practical as possible. Uh, and really, truly, I probably need to turn this video on and watch it myself about once a month because. Like I said, I may say I want to get to 500 customers this year, and then I, you know, I look. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I don't know. I just hope I just hope my phone starts ringing. You know, so I need to take these practical steps myself to ensure, uh, or at least to give myself the best opportunity to get to 500 customers. So, all right, 2018. I hope it's a great year. I look forward to connecting with many more of you guys on YouTube. Um, and I always appreciate your comments. If you've got some goals that you want to put in the comment section, we'd love to hear them. If you hadn't connected uh, to the channel yet by subscribing, then I would encourage you to do that. I've got hundreds of videos, and like I said, I'm really um, trying to uh, put some effort into my YouTube channel to, to make it more quality and helpful in 2018 as well. So look forward to talking to you guys later. Check out these suggested videos. Thanks a lot.